Hi, welcome to the ASP.NET web form and entity framework learning by example project. Okay, so today I will stop a little bit of coding and I will focus on how to manage the short code on the Windows PC and share it to the another team member in the project. Okay, so for example, when, when you are working in a project in the company, so we in, in a team we have some other member is working on the same this project and actually no one can work on a project okay so now uh, so for example we have some people working on this project a uh, yet net web form and entity framework and now when we when you finish any modules in this project so you have to share it to another member so now in this video today i will focus on how to guide you do it okay so in this video today i will use a search either tool manage, management tool to handle the commit and pull code from the repository from the internet so now for the repository i will using the uh, bitbucket there is a, a free service of the uh, Alexion. Okay, we have some another uh, free resort uh, repository on the internet is like GitLab and GitHub. So now in this video today, I will just forget into the Bitbucket. Okay, cool. And I will assume you you have already know how what is a Bitbucket and how to install it on the Windows PC. And otherwise, if you don't have much more, more the knowledge about the Bitbucket, you can go to my YouTube channel. And YouTube channel here, you go to YouTube channel, slash C, slash GNV8. Okay, so here, you go to playlist. Playlist here, you scroll out, you can see I have a Git, Bitbucket, and Sochi tutorial. You to go to read this one, and here I have some uh, preview. I have some video which will help you to understand what is a Bitbucket and how to install it on your Windows PC. And after that, you also know how to install the Sochi on your Windows PC as well. And when we have finished the installation for Bitbucket and also Sochi, I have guide you how to uh, clone the how to create the repository on the Bitbucket and after that you clone the repository from the internet into the local PC and after that we will working on the local PC shortcode and when we when we finish any coding so we want to share it for other member in the team so you go ahead to commit and put the code into the remote repository so the Bitbucket there is a we will call it a remote repository of the Bitbucket. Okay, so you also know how to uh, create a branching for for Bitbucket. So, for example, when you are working in a team, we have we should have some brands in the shortcode like matter and depth. So during the development, we should working on the depth develop brands so we, when we finish uh, any state so we will commit the code into the matter so the matter we will rely on this matter and deliver the short code to the client for 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 for, uh, for deployment and do the EYT testing or something like that okay cool so now here firstly before we working with the bitbucket I will open the bitbucket.org here and now I have some project in my account and I assume you have already have an account in bitbucket if you don't know how to create an account so you can go there go to my youtube channel to see it okay here I I will click on the create button here I will create the repository okay so the owner i will select the chin pool here chin underscore v8 and 
this one is a team I had been created before for my project. So by default, when you create the account and you don't have the owner in a team here, it will display your default account. And that means you, you don't, you, you cannot assign the, pro the, the, the project into this repository. So now you can go ahead to, uh, create the team first and enter the team here and the name. But, but make sure, make sure it is still not existing in the system. Okay. So after that, after if you need creating the repository, uh, the, the team, you are able to create the project. And after that, you go ahead to create the repository. I will select the team and select the project type .NET project. Here, we are working on the on the web form and entity framework project. So now I will open the short code here. I will copy the name. Copy this. It should be web form and entity framework by example project. Asset level, it should be the private repository. So that means when you are setting the asset level is private, so no one can see your project except the team member in your, in your project. So after you create the repository, so you have to send the invite, invitation to your team member to join into this repository. And after that, when they, uh, when they join into your project, uh, when they join into to your repository here, so they can do the commit or also get the, the code from the Beaver kit into their PC. Okay, so I will have everything by default here. If you want to have some the advanced setting here, you can do the description for this repository. And okay, here I will web form a learning web form. Learning web form and the framework by Jim Project. Okay, cool. And let it let everything by default here. The language is you can see like it is C Okay, create repository. Okay, cool. So after you you create the repository, so you have to start by correcting the readme here. I will leave it by default for now. Commit. Okay. So here I have the Tianwu repository in HTTPS. You can also work on the edit edit as here. But for now I will select the HTTPS. Copy the link. And I will open scroll down and open the the, the um, Sochi on my PC, and I, I assume you already installed the Sochi successfully on the Windows PC before. So if you don't know how to install the Sochi, uh, you can um, you can go to my YouTube channel and see the video. Okay, cool. And now here you click on the clone button and paste the Sochi URL here. Is checking. So if there, if if this one is the first time you are working on the Sochi and also the first time connect into the Bitbucket, so after you put the Git repository URL here, so it will display a pop up which you have to enter the username and password for the Bitbucket account. So because here I I already work on the uh, Sochi on my PC before. So now I don't, so I, I don't want, uh, so I, I don't, um, I will skip the step to enter the username and password uh, for this repository. Okay. So now I will, the next step you have to select the destination folder. You want to be put and uh, you want to be, keep the code on the local PC. 
okay so now i will open the short code this one is folder i'm working on this so now if i want to link the bitbucket into this folder so i have to make it empty okay so now i will create i will temporarily change the copy this one and change to to another name i will create the same folder here okay it is empty so now i will open this part and i will change it e okay okay after that when you finish you can also change the name here but for now i will keep it by default and click on the clone button clone button okay cool click on the matter yeah working copy open this one and for now because we have the created repository and also you clone the code into the local pc and at this time we have only the readme.md file here so now i will open the short code we are working on here i will copy this own own thing into edit folder here so after that you back to the sort g yeah when you click on the matter and at the time we have only the matter branch so now you can click on the remote here it have only the master and here you can see in the brand matter we have some uncommitted chains click on this yet because we have the cop copy the 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 code of project we are working on into this github uh, into this uh, repository local office so now we have to click on state on chain here because we have a lot of files so it will take the time to state on it okay so now after we finish the state for own file on the pc okay i think we should wait a while okay web submit okay so after that in this uh, text box you have to enter the command for the for for this commit okay you enter the the first commit first commit code from genvx pc okay here we have an, another checkbox e put transit immediately to original master if you click on this one okay so by default when you are working on the uh, working with the git and also the sochi so we have two repository the first one is local repository there is the temporary server on your pc and the second one is the remote repository uh, there is, that is the repository on the cloud i mean here cloud is the bitbucket.org website so okay so after if you uncheck this one and you click on the commit button here so it, it will only commit the short code the short code into the local pc okay so after that you have to click on put button here to put it to put the new chain from the local pc repository it to the remote repository okay hope my hope my explanation is clear and it will have fun for you to work with the uh, bitbucket and the git on the on this project and basically uh, for now 
uh, we have a lot of people using the Git for the project um, project short code management because it is security, it is more security than other services for managing the short code like uh, um, SVN, Visual Source Safe, or blah blah. Okay. So now I will commit it to the re remote repository as well. Click on commit button. So now this one is a first time for commit the short code, so it will take the time to to edit and also put it to the re remote repository. Okay. Let's wait. So because it, I think it will take the time, so I will temporarily pause. Okay, so you can see here when you see the green uh, green bar here. So the, and the, the the commit is completed successfully. And you close this one here. Click on the master, and after that in the main main uh, main panel here, you can see we have some the deck description with the command e first commit code from the gnv8 pc okay cool so now if you have any change in the uh, in the working space here so it will have some the uncommitted chain in the strategy okay cool so now i think that's all and i think Okay, so now I will open this one again. And for example, now if you want to, if you have add new file into this one, so it will display the chain into into the strategy now. Here you can see we have unstated file, new new tech document .txt file. Okay, so now just go ahead to state this file and commit do the command and put it to the uh, repository okay now i will delete this okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to uh, you, you know how to work and manage the short code in your project and when so when you are using the git and also sochi to manage the short code so i think it will be helpful and very quickly for the for, for the team member when they want to share the short code to other okay i hope that helped and do let me know if you see any issue and bye bye and see you later in other video